All right, look who I found on the streets of Indianapolis. Chargers head coach Norv Turner getting ready to walk over to Lucas Oil Stadium and look at those college players at the Combine. Are you excited? I'm freezing. What do you, you got me out here in the cold. It's windy. It was warm two days ago. Come on, Norv, you got to man up for this cold, uh, right? No, no, we'll be, we'll be inside the dome real quick. So yeah, I am excited. It's a, uh, I, so far, I'm very impressed with this this group of players, and uh, you know we've been starting the process with the interviews and all that, and uh, it's a good-looking group of guys. I want to talk about the interviews because that's a big part of what you do. What goes on in these interviews? What are they like? Well, yeah, you know, there's two sets of interviews. There are formal interviews where we have uh, we get 30 players and we get them for 15 minutes, and and we have them in a you know in a uh, close setting with yeah. four or five of us, uh, Jimmy Ray, John Spanos, uh, our coordinators and that. And then there's constant interviews going on all day and that's the position coaches and the scouts that are grabbing these players and they go over to the Holiday Inn to the train station over there and uh, you know we end up interviewing every player that's here so uh, the, the biggest thing I think uh, you know these guys these guys are really well coached in terms yeah. of how to handle the interviews so we, we work hard to try to get them out of their comfort zone and just get a feel for them as a person one of the things we always do is put some of their tape on and ask them to evaluate themselves and yeah. talk about them themselves and they don't know what plays are coming they don't know what tape we have so there's no way they can prepare for it and uh, and you do uh, I, I think you do start to get a little feel for them uh, in terms of you know how they react to different things and uh, you know what what type of person they are what are your thoughts on watching these guys in shorts and t-shirts doing drills that they prepared for and evaluating them well you you do get to see a guy's athleticism and that's uh, you know, that's a starting point, uh, you know, and, and a guy that you know is a good player, that you've watched on tape, and then you go out there and he's a real good athlete, that's really good, yeah. you know, and then you see some guys that are real good players that aren't as athletic, you, 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 that's, those are the guys that you just have to, you know, really uh, continue to evaluate, and then the, the, the hardest ones are the guys that are, are real good athletes, but it doesn't show up on tape, and then you got to you got to look hard at them and say, well, uh, can that athleticism be developed right. into you know playing ability? And then those tend to be the guys that uh, when they get into the league tend to be one you know have one ability, like they're a pass rusher or they're they're real good at one thing, but they're not yeah. complete players. Speaking of pass rushers, yeah. the Chargers, Chargers seem to have a lot of needs coming up. Um, possibly a pass rusher, maybe a wide receiver, a tight end, some help on the O-line. That's a wide variety. What's the biggest position need for you going into this draft? Well, you know, I think, I think if you change the name of the Chargers to any team in the league, you could say the same thing. Yeah. That's where this league is right now. Uh, I don't know that there are a lot of uh, totally complete teams in this league anymore. Uh, you know, we have a lot of we have a lot of good players, uh, and we have a lot of good young players that are going to continue to develop. That's exciting to me. Uh, you know, there are some areas that we we need to add, either add players who can go in and play, or add to our depth. Uh, but certainly, a pass rusher or or pass rushers or, or that type of player. Uh, you know, we are getting we, we are losing some of our depth in the offensive line. We got a good core, uh, you know, nucleus of offensive linemen. I like our guys a great deal. Uh, so those would be two areas, yeah, that, that we're going to yeah. look at. I've seen and heard some good tight ends in there. Is there a chance you might go for a tight end? I mean, I know you like to have two tight ends on the field. Maybe a good pass catching tight end worked out well for some of the other teams, Patriots. You know, you know what I love about this league? It, you know, the, the new trend is going to tight ends. And anyone who's been around uh, anything that I've done offensively knows that we've always yeah. incorporated tight ends. So we're always going to uh, use tight ends and we're always going to be looking at them. All right. You're the head coach. You take the team into battle. You're with them every day. But ultimately, it seems that it's AJ that gets to make that final decision. What's that process like? How come that, that is the way it is? Well, you know, that's, uh, I, I think we have a great setup. Uh, you know, that's a setup I was hired under. And, yeah. uh, you know, I have great respect for what we do as an organization. I have great respect for what AJ does. Uh, you know, we, we work hard together. And we work hard together in the scouting. We work hard together in the football. And, and uh, you know, I, I think... Uh, you know, we've had some disappointments in the last couple of years, but I, I, I do believe uh, 
you know, we're going to get over the hump in this thing. And I, and I think uh, doing it together is the most important thing. And, uh, you know, we're, I, I, we're excited about this opportunity in free agency and, and in the draft. And, uh, you know, we've had great meetings over the last month, and I think we're heading in the right direction. I know you guys absolutely get along, but do you ever get into screaming matches over a player or anything like that? No, we're, we're uh, I don't know that either of us are guys that are going to uh, scream and holler, but, uh, <laughs> you know, we he, he's, uh, you know, uh, obviously got some, some strong beliefs, and I have strong yeah. beliefs, and uh, we share those. Go enjoy yourself. If you need any help, I'm down in the media room. If you need some advice or input, I'm there, all right? Uh, I think we're getting enough from Kevin, <laughs> <No>. so <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if we'll take your If you need advice. real <laughs> advice and input, Norv, all right? Okay, all right. thank you so much. I Thanks. appreciate it. Okay. Thanks.